Hi guys. This is the Igorotech. Today, I will show you how to block and allow or whitelist applications on FortiGate Firewall. Let's begin. First is we are going to block an application on internal or LAN users, then later on, I will show you how to whitelist or how to allow blocked applications. You can see that this PC is a member of the LAN network. For this demo, we are going to block this any desk application. You can see that this application is currently online by looking at the green check and the green dot. This means it's online and ready to connect. Now, if we check the firewall policy, you can see that I haven't enabled any restrictions, limitations or any blocking yet. What we are going to do is create a security profile then we will use it on this policy. Go to security profiles. Since we are blocking any desk which is an application then we will choose application control. If you want to block or whitelist a website then use the web filter. You can check my other video on how to block or whitelist a website. These are the default application control profiles. If you have some current profiles which you want to modify then you can simply clone, rename and modify the profile. For this demo, we will create a new profile. Click create new. Give it a name based on your liking. Since this profile is to block any desk then we will give a name of block any desk for our reference. Comments is optional. Now, we have all the application categories. Each category has each own different applications. An example is the game category which all the game's applications are in this category. The same goes with social media, all social media applications are in this category. Since our goal for today is to only block any desk then we will allow first all these categories blocked by default. Any desk application should be under remote access. Notice that remote access has 91 applications in total. This depends on the database version. To view all the applications under this category, you can hover your cursor over it and you will see the view signatures. You can also expand the down arrow and you will see the view signatures. Click on it. Here, you can see all the applications under this category. Since we have a bunch of applications under this category then it would be easier to use the search option. Enter the application name which in our case is any desk. You can also search for other remote access applications like Team Viewer. Now, we have two methods to block applications like any desk. The first method is we can block by category. To do this, expand the down arrow then you have the options to monitor, allow, block and quarantine. Since we are going to block then we will choose block. The downside of this method is all the applications under this category will be blocked. Later on, I will also show you how to allow or whitelist applications even though it's blocked by category. The next method is using the application and filter overrides. Click create new. Type is application. For the action, we have the option the monitor, allow, block and quarantine. Since our goal is to block any desk then we will choose block. Next is search for the application name which in our case is any desk. Click on it to select then click on add selected. Notice that there's already a check sign added, it means any desk application is already added. Click OK to apply the changes. You can see the newly created override application. Priority is 1. This will follow the sequence from 1 going up. The role is top comes first so if you have a bunch of application overrides then be careful of what you blocked and what you allowed. You can drag and drop to rearrange the sequence. Details is the application name which is any desk. You can hover your cursor over it to view the details. Type is application and the action is block. Since we already blocked any desk from application override then we can allow the remote access category. I just showed you how to block by category but our goal for today is to block only any desk so we will allow the rest of the remote access applications. You can use the first option which is to block by category if you want to block all the applications within that category. You can hover your cursor over it to view more details. Now, click OK to apply the changes. You can now see the newly created profile which is to block any desk. The reference is still zero because we haven't used yet this profile. Let's now apply this profile to the firewall policy. 
Go to Policy and Objects. Firewall Policy. Choose the policy you want to block any desk. Double click on it or click on it to select then choose Edit. We will only modify the security profiles. I disabled all the security profiles for the sake of this video. Now, under Application Control, choose the profile we just created which is to block any desk. You can hover your cursor over it to view the details. You can also directly edit from here. Tick on it to select. I suggest you always enable the antivirus for better security. Click OK to apply the changes. You can see that the profile which is block any desk has been added to this firewall policy. Let's now relaunch the any desk. Notice that we have an application error. Connecting to the any desk network. This means this application has already been blocked by the FortiGate firewall. You can also see that the green check is missing, it shows that this application is offline. For different firmware versions and device models, you might encounter different results. It may show you are connected but you cannot use the application. Now that you already know how to block an application. Next is I will show you how to allow or whitelist applications. Let's go back to security profiles. Application Control. You can clone, create new, or modify any of the current profiles. For this demo, we are going to use the same profile. Imagine that you used the first method and you blocked all remote access applications, and now you want only to allow or whitelist any desk. We can use the application and filter overrides to whitelist certain applications. First is we will allow this blocked application then later on, I will show you to whitelist other application as well. Double click on it to edit. We will change the action from block to monitor or allow since our goal is to allow this application. Click OK to apply the changes. Notice that the action already changed to allow for any desk application. Now, if you want to allow other applications, you can follow this process. Click create new. Type is application. Action should be monitor or allow. Now, Search for the application you are going to allow. For this demo, we will use Team Viewer. We have three results. The Team Viewer application. Team Viewer call receive and Team Viewer call request. We need to enable all these options for the application to work without any issues. To select multiple options, press Ctrl on your keyboard then tick on it one by one to select. Once the options have been selected then click Add Selected. Notice that there's a check sign added. Means the options have been selected. Click OK to apply the changes. You can see that we have allowed or whitelisted two applications which are any desk and team viewer. We will modify the profile name for our reference. Comments is optional but very useful for reference. I will give a comment of block remote, allow any desk and team viewer. We can change the name to block remote. This is all based on your preference. Click OK to apply the changes. You can see the profile we just created. Let's go back to the firewall policy. No need to change anything from here since we use the same profile. We just need to refresh because we renamed the profile. Notice the application control profile has been changed. Let's launch the AnyDesk application again. You can see that we are now connected or the application is back online. Well. That's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.